Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. If you're new to the channel, my name is Darissa. It is really great to see you back in my channel. And uh, in today's episode, I would like to discuss with you Salesforce Administrator Certifications. Uh, there's something I've been working for several months now, and it is finally ready. I wanted to share with you and uh, also to hear your opinion about it, if you have taken any Salesforce certifications and how you usually practice for that. And if you have any tips for people who are on the path and uh, about to get certified, also please let us know down below in the comment section and uh, just share your experience because there are so many people who are taking certifications and I have met several people as well who are new to the platform and there are still so many people joining us and everyone wants to hear some feedback, some tips and tricks, how to better prepare. As you know, uh, the very first certification is a bit scary because you don't know what to expect in the certification and uh, what it's like, is it's being timed, there are specific set of um, questions and how does it look, how to assess scenario-based questions. It is all a bit scary, but once you're used to it, once you have taken some practice, you're feeling more confident. And that's exactly what I wanted to do, to share some of my experience and also to prepare some practice tests and to share with, with you. And currently I have them on Udemy. I will be sharing with some more details about the test and I'll be as well screen sharing just to show you how it looks like. And um, I think it's a very, very good idea and a way to prepare for a real exam because you can take them multiple times. You can fail as well. And if an instructor is really good, then they can also provide you with uh, uh, an example or um, uh, an explanation why exactly this uh, this set of answers is the right one and where you can learn and retake the test and then when you are taking your actual Salesforce exam that has slightly more questions as they're adding instead of 60 they're adding 65 you feel more confident and uh, that's not because of the questions you took before that's because you understand better the logic uh, behind every scenario what exactly are they looking for the keywords that's what you're looking for and salesforce exams are made especially the very first salesforce administrators exam it is made for for you to fail you have to you have to pick up on keywords you have to understand um the bigger picture what are they looking for and also think that they have a, they have a guide on salesforce on trailhead you can find them um, there's a exam guide and uh, that's as well what i'm covering in my bundle i follow the exam guideline and uh, specifically created all questions to match their criteria so when you're going there if you're taking all three tests as a practice test you are ready you're more confident taking the real exam and you shouldn't have any problems especially if you complete um, prepare for your salesforce administrators credentials a trailhead a trail mix with with the modules once you've done that and you have taken some practice tests you're ready to you're ready for the real thing on salesforce and it's hard to miss out on it because we, they are these are this is one of the first things that salesforce advises you to take there's a trail mix and once you have successfully completed all these modules then you should be even more confident as well taking the the real exam i'm not going to go into detail but just to show you that it is there uh, so, uh, in salesforce trailhead and uh, another thing is a uh, an exam outline and the suggestions there is um, a little bit about the real exam and uh, recommended trail mixes and um, practice tests as well that they provide and they're providing a single practice test and also super badges if you complete all this you're even more confident to take the real exam but you're still not aware what exactly to expect from your first very first salesforce administra administrators exam and um, that's why i'm going to be showing as well salesforce practice tests and the exam outline follows these sets 
um, sets of um, areas that they're covering about configuration and setup, 20%. Object manager, lighting app builder, 20%. And there will be either technical theory questions or there will be a scenario and you have to come up with a solution. And it's very, very similar to our real life example when you your VP of sales comes to you with a requirement and as a subject matter expert and uh, owning Salesforce platform, you should be able to come up with a, either a better suggestion uh, or just create a solution for them, for the sales team or marketing team. So everything is actually related to your real life experience. And uh, they also have sales and marketing applications service and support applications. So they're covering all these areas in the real exam, um, in the real exam, but it depends. For some, you'll have seven questions like here or 10 questions. And for others, you'll have just one or two questions. So it is about the variety as long as you are confident in the Salesforce platform and you understand the, the keywords terminology that's what they're looking for and um, you can think about not just the right solution but what is the best solution in that case in that specific scenario so that's the very important thing to learn and then i'll just go into the salesforce practice tests that i recently created i have 180 questions and i have just split them into three questions. So it's a bundle with three practice tests, 60 questions each. They're also timed just like the real exam. And uh, the difference is that you can retake it as many times as you want. You get your score and uh, you can also assess your knowledge. You can see where your knowledge is strong, where you're really good and confident and where you should add some more time and improve your knowledge, which areas. So there is a very nice and beautiful breakdown of your result. And I have also each of these tests I have split into the exam outline. So you can always return to specific exam outline. And uh, I have previously as well taken tests on Udemy. I think they are definitely preparing you for your exams and uh, all these, these will be very different questions. I personally created all of these 180 questions. They will be very different to what other instructors are offering. And the outline as well, as you can see, you can always return to the exam outline. And is this the right course for you? If you are planning on taking a Salesforce administrator course, then yes, it will be a, the it will be a right course for you. As you can see, it is very, very new, uploaded very recently. It's a new thing, so there are not really that many reviews. Thank you for students who have uh, purchased the product. Uh, I only today realized that there are two students who have already purchased it. Thank you so much if you're watching this video. I really appreciate that. And um, I would really like to hear your feedback as well. And definitely try Salesforce Administrator practice test as, um, as one of your tools for, for preparing for your examination and um, definitely good luck with that. Good luck with your uh, exam certification. I, as a former Salesforce recruiter, I know that recruiters and companies, they value, um, they value credentials and they value the effort you put into your self-development and even though it is not uh, mandatory to have salesforce certifications but it is a very big plus uh, to to you as a as a professional competing with other salesforce administrators and just proving yourself that you can do it even if you have no previous job experience but you can um, you can successfully complete your certification so definitely good luck with your Salesforce uh, certification and uh, follow the gu guidelines and the 
study suggestions that Salesforce provide you and definitely take some practice tests. It will be very useful for you. I can definitely say that it is it was very useful for me and I will keep taking as well practice tests from other instructors as I'm taking other Salesforce certifications and I am personally certified as well so it is just uh, the way to do and it uh, definitely strengthens your knowledge and confidence in taking these tests. Thanks a lot, see you next time, bye bye!